Okay, question 15. So, let's start off by saying, well, what does this really mean? Okay, so the first term is A, then you would add the second one, which would be times R, and then you'd add the next one, which would be times R squared, and, and so on. Okay, and then you'd end up with the last one, that should be a times r to the, to the n minus 1. Right, now the best way of doing this is let's multiply both sides by r. Okay, so if you multiply both sides by r, so what are we going to get? We're going to have a r plus a r squared plus a r to the power of 3. And then the last one would be a r to the n. Right, now imagine what you're going to get if you do this one, take away this one. Right, let's just write it down. Take away this one. Right, what are you going to end up with? So, look, that, would, that one would cancel with that one. That cancels with that one. That would cancel with that one, and so on and so on. That would cancel with the one before. So what would you be left with? You'd be left with A. Oops, let's go back plus then. Minus, because it's minus, isn't it? Okay, because it's this lot, take away this lot, and then that will give you that. Okay, so let's just factorise some stuff. So we can factorise this left-hand side, so we've got 1 minus R, and then we can factorise this side. So you've got A, take out, 1 minus R to the power of N. Divide by this, and lo and behold... We've got what we were looking for. There you go, we proved it. Right, now part B. Okay, so part B, it tells us that S10 is 4 times S5. So let's just summarise that. That's 4 times S5. Okay, so let's just write that out. So A, so that'd be 1 minus r to the 10. I thought it was quite a tricky question, this actually. Equals 4a. So it'd be 4 times exactly the same thing. But r to the 5, 1 minus r. Okay, so let's have a look, see if anything obvious can cancel. Okay, so I can cancel those bits, I can cancel, cancel the a's, yeah? So that's going to give me the r, sorry, 1 minus r to the 10 equals. Four lots of okay. Now should be able to get to that stage. Now the next bit is probably the trickiest bit of the question, but then it's really obvious when you when you look at it in terms of trying how to make progress with this. Remember in maths, it's quite often can we write something a different way? This is just difference of two squares. R minus, uh, sorry, one minus r to the five. 1 plus r to the 5. Right? It's really annoying when you see it. And then, because the rest of the question from there on in is pretty straightforward, yeah? They cancel out. So we've got 1 plus r to the 5 equals 4. Take away the 1 from each side. r to the power of 5 equals 3. So r, that does say give the exact value, it's just up there, so it gave the exact value, so in other words, we don't actually need to work it out, because it's just the fifth root of three, or if you prefer, you could write it as a, a fractional power, okay? That was the key, wasn't it? Just there.